Our hero thought but a treasure ahead, did not consider the peace of the dead. Through the dark he went creeping, and awoke what was sleeping. A new grave they dug, which he himself fed. Ooh, spooky! Merely protecting my assets. I've grown quite fond of you, you know, in my way. I thought it only fair to warn you about the dangers ahead. Oh, <laughs> we both know they are soon to be revealed. It would be pointless of me to try to bar you from entering. But I can set the scene, as it were. Prepare you for your role. There is a stage down in the dark, upon which a great drama has suspended itself in time. Its actors dwell there still, mired in the languor of their long, tired scenes. If you, however, through the dark, go creeping and awake what is sleeping, chances are many more graves than yours alone will soon be fed. Very well. There is a creature that lurks in silence and shadow. A creature who, like me, is very much of the infernal persuasion. Should it make its way out through the very doors you are about to brazenly swing open, you'll have unleashed a pestilence upon this realm. In truth, it is carnage incarnate. So if you meet the devil of which I speak, kill it. Consider no other course of action. This creature and I go back a long way. I admit it would be in my best interest as well should it remain trapped in the dark. Or misplace its head, perhaps? What are we talking here? Lemia? Pit Fiend? Orphan? Getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Listen here, Pipsqueak. Do not underestimate this opponent. At best, you will have the blink of an eye to strike. Strike first, strike true, defy the odds, for they are distinctly in its favor. That much I owe the bastard to concede. <laughs> and don't think I've forgotten your tale, Astarian. When the beast is dead, I'll consider that payment enough to translate those scars of yours. A fairer deal than I expected. You wound me, Spawn. I always deal fairly. And will close this particular deal soon enough. Vanquish the beast and all will be revealed. <laughs> <laughs> 